Hey there students, welcome to Crazy Nurse RN channel, where learning becomes a tradition. Today, we'll start with Block 1 Quick PNLE and NCLEX RN Question and Answer Review Session. In every block, there will be a 50 item mixed nursing review questions for you. This review video was made by Crazy Nurse RN to help student nurses, unlicensed nurses, and professional registered nurses who want to prepare for exams and gain insights about nursing topics. If you think this helps you, please subscribe, like, and share this video. Let's begin Block 1. In abruptual placenta, the placenta blank from the uterine wall blank separates prematurely. In abruptual placenta, the placenta separates from the uterine wall prematurely. Abruptual placenta usually occurs in prima, multi, gravita over the age of blank. Abruptual placenta usually occurs in multi gravita over the age of 35. How is the bleeding of abruptual placenta different that in placenta previa? Usually painful and bleeding is more voluminous in placenta previa. If you are the nurse starting the IV on the client with abruptual placenta, what gauge needle should you use? Gauge 18 in preparation to give blood if necessary. How often should you measure the vital signs, vaginal bleeding, fetal heart rate during abruptual placenta? Every five to 15 minutes for bleeding, maternal vital signs, and continuous fetal monitoring. Deliver baby at earliest sign of fetal distress. How is an infant delivered when a abruptual placenta is present? Cesarean section. Is there a higher or lower incidence of fetal death with abruptual placenta compared to placenta previa? Higher incidence. In what trimester? Does abruptual placenta most commonly occur? Third trimester. At what age are accidental poisonings most common? Two years old. If a child swallows a potentially poisonous substance, what should be done first? call for medical help. Should vomiting be induced after ingestion of gasoline? No, not for gas or any other petroleum products. When taking a child to the ER after accidental poisoning has occurred, what must accompany the child to the ER? The suspected poison. An elderly client is a high, low risk for accidental poisoning. What about a school age child? Elderly client is high risk. And also a school age child is high risk for accidental poisoning. What types of chemicals cause burns to oral mucosa when ingested. Lye, caustic cleaners. Children at the highest risk for seizure activity after ingestion are those who have swallowed blank and blank. Drugs and insecticides. Can impaired skin integrity ever be an appropriate nursing diagnosis when poisoning has occurred? Yes, 
when lye or caustic agents have been ingested. What is the causative organism of acne? B. Acnes or Propionibacterium acnes. What structures are involved in acne vulgaris? The sebaceous glands. Name three drugs given for acne. Vitamin A, antibiotics, and retinoids. Dietary indiscretions and uncleanliness are causes of acne. False. What are the three causative factors in acne vulgaris? Hereditary, bacterial, and hormonal. Uncleanliness is a cause of acne. False. What is the most common retinoid given to people with acne? Accutane. Accutane is an analog of which vitamin? Vitamin A. What is the most common side effect of accutane? And what is most important in health teaching and administration? Inflammation of the lips. It causes birth defects. What is the antibiotic most commonly given to clients with acne? Tetracycline. How long will it take for the person to see results when acne is being treated? Four to six weeks. Does stress make acne worse? Yes. How often should the client with acne wash his face each day? Twice a day. What instructions do you give to a client taking tetracycline? Take it on an empty stomach and avoid the sunlight. What are comedones? These are your blackheads and whiteheads. What virus causes AIDS? Human Immunodeficiency Virus or HIV. The AIDS virus invades helper blank. The T lymphocytes or CD4 cells. AIDS is transmissible through what four routes? Blood, sexual contact, breastfeeding, and across placenta in utero. HIV is present in all body fluids. Yes, but it is not transmitted by all, only blood, semen, and breast milk. Name the five risk groups for AIDS. Homosexual and bisexual men. IV drug users. Hemophiliacs. Heterosexual partners of infected people and newborn children of infected women. What is the first test for HIV antibodies? ELISA. What test confirms the ELISA? Western blot. Which test is the best indicator of the progress of HIV disease? CD4 count. 
A CD4 count of under blank is associated with the onset of AIDS-related symptoms. 500 A CD4 count of under blank is associated with the onset of opportunistic infections. 200 Give six symptoms of HIV disease. Anorexia Fatigue Weakness Diarrhea Night sweats Fever Which two classes of drugs are given in combination for HIV zero positivity? NRTI or nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors PIs or protease inhibitors They both prevent viral replication what is NRTI, or Nucleoside Reverse Transcriptase Inhibitors? It is an antiviral drug used against HIV. It is incorporated into the DNA of the virus and stops the building process. It results in incomplete DNA that cannot create a new virus. It is often used in combination with other drugs. What are PIs or protease inhibitors? They are the most potent of antiviral meds. They inhibit cell protein synthesis that interferes with viral replication. They do not cure but slows progression of AIDS. Prolongs life and used prophylactically and used in AIDS to decrease viral load and opportunistic infections. What do NRTIs and PIs do? They prevent viral replication. What does the physician hope to achieve with NRTIs and PIs for HIV? A delayed onset of AIDS for as long as possible usually can delay onset for 10 to 15 years. What is the common NRTI used? AZT What is the most challenging aspect of combination of drug therapy for HIV disease? The number of pills that must be taken in 24 hours can be overwhelming. The frequency also makes it hard to remember an alarm wristwatch is used. Clients with AIDS gain lose weight. They lose weight. This ends our review presentation. Good job. You are done with block one. More to go. Just keep on reaching your goals. This has been Crazy Nurse RN YouTube channel. And see you in our next review session. Please subscribe, like, and share this video to your friends, classmates, and colleagues. Bye for now, students.